morning, I was standing on the Potomac Avenue Metro Station platform when a man entered the station and engaged in a shooting rampage. I ran and hid with another woman behind the elevator on the platform. I called 911, but my call went unanswered. Soltis was one of the many residents who testified about their experiences calling 911 for help only to be put on hold or not get an answer at all. I vividly remember the point at which I needed to hang up. I was rubbing the arm of the woman next to me so she would stay calm and not cry, which I worried might alert the shooter to where we were hiding. The woman became startled. My shoulders jumped and I realized I had lost track of the gunshots while desperately listening for someone to answer my 911 call. I hung up. Soltis was not alone in sharing a traumatic experience made worse when they called 911 for help. My daughter, who was in cardiac arrest due to an asthma attack, um, I was placed on hold on several occasions. MPD was never dispatched, and I hung the phone up on the operator. I'm still slightly traumatized by this incident. Heather McGaffin, director of the 911 call center, did not address those residents' complaints directly, but did offer a list of excuses for her agency's problems, including short staffing, high call volume, and cell carrier errors, but stopped short of acknowledging mistakes. McGaffin testified her agency has hired more call takers in the past eight months than in the last two years combined. For Soltis, the memory of that day inside the metro station trying to reach 911 still haunts her. These events were terrifying. Unfortunately, the trauma I experienced on those two occasions was compounded when no one would answer my 911 calls. OUC's failures inflict unnecessary trauma on people in need. It is wrong. I'm here today because no one should go through what I did. These events have taken a toll on me and my family. It took months before I could sleep through the night. It is an awful feeling to accept that you are on your own and no one is coming. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. So disturbing. That's a lifeline. Director McGaffin testified she is holding call takers and dispatchers accountable when they make mistakes. She testified that since she took over back in February, 10 employees have been fired, 7 have been suspended, and 12 employees have either retired or resigned during that time frame.